Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please download my latest ebook. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today we're gonna talk about the dangers of being an authorized user, okay? Um, for those who don't know, uh, being an authorized user is when someone asks you to um, their credit card account, uh, and that could be a department store credit card, uh, that could be a major credit card, that could be a secured credit card, unsecured, because uh, a lot of people don't necessarily know the, you know, all the definitions, but um, it doesn't take much to be an authorized user. They just need your first name, your last name, your social, date of birth, that's at minimum. Uh, some companies give you the option to send that authorized user an additional card to the account, which I always recommend is not best unless they're like husband or wife or, you know, um, you know, parents to kids. It depends on, it's all, it's a matter of trust and responsibility as well as discipline when you go into that. But um, I would say a few of the dangers, of course, the number one being uh, the utilization. Um, so usually, especially around this time, this is the holiday season, uh, we're going to be dipping into Black Friday all those sales Amazon's gonna have all the prime deals uh, you know Christmas shopping after Christmas uh, beginning of the year shopping uh, you know I mean it's then everyone's gonna have their goals their weight loss goals and all type of stuff can happen in these next three to four months and you have to be prepared and some people in their minds you know they said oh well I'll just pay it off after Christmas I'll pay it around tax season and you but again I'm not saying that they're not gonna pay it but do understand it's not just a about how long they've had the account open, which does matter, okay? That does play a role, uh, especially if they've had the account open for a very long time, that's gonna help you. Uh, number two, um, the payment history. M um, a lot of times people have great payment history if they're trying to have that history on someone else's uh, credit report as an authorized user. Uh, the thing that a lot of people don't talk about is the utilization. And if the utilization is too high, now I teach my clients what FICO high achievers have. That's 780 and above, okay? People that are 780 and above have a utilization of zero to 10%. Now I know you guys Google 30%, I mean, hey, that's fine, but if you want to see your score at its highest potential, I always recommend zero to 10%. So sometimes you may be, uh, the person may have good intentions or that person may be you where you have good intentions on helping someone build their credit. The problem is, is that your utilization is too high and you actually may bring their score down. I, can, I cannot tell you how many times I've told so many of my clients, hey, listen, if someone has you on a, an, uh, what, well, one of the things that was hurting their credit is that someone had them on a, uh, their, someone had them on their credit card as an authorized user. But the problem is, is that uh, when they did have them on there, the utilization was so high, it was actually one of the many things that was help that was hurting them and um, that was keeping them from moving, having their score go, go up to a certain potential. It was decreasing their score in short. And I said, listen, you got to get off this account. Just so you know, when someone takes you off um, as an authorized user, that history doesn't go away. It's future history uh, from that point forward that doesn't get re-reported because now you're off the account. So essentially, a person could be an authorized user for you know a couple of months, get the history, and then take themselves off. The only reason why people stay an authorized user is to continue to get those you know monthly you know uh, payment history, utilization, all the good stuff that credit is supposed to give you. So, but be very careful, especially around this season. You'd be surprised. This can do a lot of stuff. This is where retail goes insane, okay? But it can really, really hurt your credit score. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Uh, you know, it's not really a list per se. One is the, the biggest thing I always see, of course, is utilization. Number two, of course, the payment history. Make sure that the people are paying their bills on time. And then, of course, number three, make sure that the account has been open for a while. That always helps if you're looking to be an authorized user on someone's account. I made a video on why it doesn't make sense to pay to be an authorized user. Um, and people call those trade lines when technically everything on your credit report is a trade line. You can do whatever you want to do, okay? Okay. Uh, but again, I, I tell the way I do it for my clients is just a little bit different than how a lot of people are traditionally doing it. But to me, it doesn't make sense to pay for something and it's not yours. There's no control versus you have family, family, friends, you know, that can easily add you as an authorized user, but make sure that they're responsible 
and if they have enough discipline, especially around this time of the season. So, But those are some of the pitfalls that you guys got to watch out for because a lot of people didn't know that if they were on someone's account as an authorized user and that the utilization is high, that could be actually decreasing their score. And I mean, think about it. You know, if everything's, if your score is like a 550, someone adds you on as an authorized user, but their utilization is like 80%, your score can drop, okay? Especially if that account doesn't have enough history to kind of compensate that overutilization. Don't, but again, they can always bring that utilization down. But that's the risk you have is that them swiping that card, especially around this time of the year, because Christmas gifts, all New Year's Eve, all type of stuff can happen. So just be wary of that. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click subscribe. And if you know someone that's dealing with a situation like this, go ahead and share it with them. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.